Hello everybody. Yeah, that's right. I'm back. Holly's back. Midweek. Not a Saturday during NaNoWriMo with an extra video for you all. I'm proud of myself. Let me blow that. Okay, so hey, I'm Holly if you're new here. Um, and I have been tagged. I've actually been tagged in a book tag. This is like the best news ever. And I have been tagged by Cam from Wolfshot Publishings for the rainy day book tag. And that and this tag was originally made by That's Bookie. Um, I'll leave her original link video also down below. Go check that out as well. Um, as well as I'll leave Cam's video down below. Um, also go check that out. Some brilliant reading suggestions from both. So hopefully I'll be able to give you guys some more brilliant reading suggestions. Right, on with the tag. So the first one is pick a book that makes you cry every time you read it. The False Nine Stars by John Green. I'm not even going to say anymore. The next question is Puddle. Pick a book where the world is set underwater or around water. Now, besides the Little Mermaid books that I read when I was like four, um, I haven't read a book that's in water, which is highly interesting. And I now want to pick up a book that's in water. Because why not? Maybe a mermaid adventure. I'm going to have to look into that. If you can suggest any below, please do. Um, because that's interesting. And so because I don't have a book that's in water, I could pick a book that's around water. And this is We Were Liars. Water on the front cover. Um, this book. I'm just going to read the back because you're not meant to know a lot about the book before we start, so I'm, I'll just read it to you. Um, we were lies, we were beautiful and privileged, we were cracked and broken, a tale of love and romance, a tale of tragedy, which lies, which is truth, you decide. It's set on a um, family's island which they own, um, that are very wealthy and it's just an island surrounded by water that they go to every single summer, so that is this one. Next one is a pick a book with a character with a soul. This is Glass Houses by Rachel Kane. As you can see, my version of this book is severely battered. Um, and the character with a soul, it's, well, there's a lot of characters in here of souls, but Claire, um, she's the main kind of, she's one of the main protagonist in the group we follow and she just she has a soul she's always constantly trying to do the right thing even when she doesn't entirely know what the right thing is she's trying to pick the best out of all the options given to her to make it the right thing and that's pretty much all I'm gonna say umbrella pick a book that was big and comfort and I have picked the hero of ages by Brandon Sanderson this is book three in the Mistborn as such, I cannot tell you anything about this book without spoiling the previous two, but this, I can tell you, is this is the last book in the trilogy. He has done a trilogy, he's now doing four books in kind of this world, but Eva is above, and then he's going to do another books, and that's kind of how this is set out. But this is the last book that's set in that time period, and although the book itself wasn't comforting, if that makes sense, in the way like, Harry Potter would be I suppose that's what people normally say about comforting books isn't it like Harry Potter like child-esque kind of like it's comfort to read it was a comfort because of how big it is this is a big book this book is seven hundred seven hundred and forty eight pages this book is it is a big book and that's why it was comforting. It was comforting to know that we had such a big book to read because I wanted to know what's happening with the world. I wanted to, there were so many things happening in this world all at once that was, because it was a high fantasy, this world was so big, so massive. I just wanted to know that when I picked this book up in the bookshop, knowing that they had that many words written up the book kind of made me feel better in knowing that we might get conclusions to all of these, whether we did or not. I won't tell you. Pick up the series and read it. Rain and the next one is Rainy Day Movie. Pick a book that was turned into a movie that you like to watch on rainy days. Now for this one, I don't know if it's a little bit of a cheat because I haven't actually read the book, but it was um, Pitch Perfect. 
a lot of people don't know, um, I didn't until I watched the credits, that it's based on a book. Um, haven't read the book, not quite sure how that will work, perhaps I should pick that one day, but it is my favourite favourite movie of all time. I've watched it well over a hundred times and I, I don't re-watch or re-read things. It isn't something that I do. I don't. I read it, I know the story, that's it, done. Like, I kind of may often think that I want to re-read it and then pick it up and go, now I know what's going to happen, why am I doing this? Um, so, the fact that I've watched this literally well over a hundred times Every time I want to do something that I don't want to do, I put Pitch Perfect on the background, I sing along, happy, really enjoy it, but can still do my own work. Coffee. Pick a book that you couldn't get enough of the hot and steamy romance. Pass. Um, I don't know, I don't read a lot of books of hot and steamy romances. This wasn't really a hot and steamy romance in terms of like erotica, like that kind of hot and steamy. but. I really enjoy the romance and I'm going to go back to it and I'm going back to the Glass Houses series um, I'm not going to say what relationship, I'm not going to say who, I'm not going to say whatever but there's at least one, probably two, maybe even three relationships in this book series that work so well and I love them all being together and it's hard and their relationships are hard sometimes and things happen but I was addicted to reading about these relationships and I don't really normally like reading about relationships in books in terms of the books I like to read because I've been very vocal about this on my channel the books I like to read are stuff where things are happening where it's life or death like you don't need to be worrying about who you're dating if a king's coming towards you with an axe like priorities sort out your life and death situation then date but this was done so so well um that the supernatural aspect of it was then normal everyday life that you have to fit in kind of a romance and stuff around it but in a different kind of way than high fantasy would be because it's like an urban fantasy i suppose you'll call it um so and the love life was weaved in really nicely in my opinion again i am going far back in my memory of this i started reading these when i was 13 so I am going far back in my memory, but I really enjoy it. So, yeah, The Glass House. Poncho. Pick a book with a main character who has an amazing best friend. This one is Echoes by Laura Tisdale. Yeah, so Mallory, codename Echo 6, Echo 6, um, was talking to Warden on the internet and um, they really helped each other online and helped each other kind of get through kind of different bits and pieces even if they didn't talk about it and they didn't talk about their private lives just kind of being there really helped each other and then something happens I'm not gonna tell you what something happens and Echo and Warden need each other's help in real life so they meet in real life and then the adventure issues really good it was just the way that they both understood each other even though they never really ever met each other they but they did they met each other online and that kind of element of it and how they just kind of were both so caring of each other it was just a really nice friend exactly what each other needed and yeah that's pretty much I don't want to give anything away so I'm not but yeah and also look at the cover look how beautiful this cover is just that has nothing to do with the tag but it's beautiful the next one is gutters pick a book that that is as dirty and as grimy as you would imagine it Queen of Shadows by Sarah J Maas. You think I could get to the end of a book tag video without reading the only book series that I've ever commented on on YouTube? <laughs> no, no. Um, yeah, so the book series um, is set in kind of a high fantasy type world, um, and as always, such as normally slums and stuff in the slums are as grimy and as dirty as you think they're going to be. We meet the main character, we meet the main character in a slave camp. And that's kind of described and it's all like a grimy and dirty and yeah it's just it's just a really grimy dirty world question answered holly stop rambling cuddly pets pick a book that had an out of this world or really enjoyable pet animals in it for this one i'm going to pick um northern lights um i can't pronounce his last name phil this guy um and this is kind of a cheat because I'm not really sure what they are 
Uh, the, I know that the main character has moss and it can transform to different things, but a little bit of backstory behind this, I picked this up when I would when I was trying to get into reading, when I really, really wasn't into reading, when I was about 10, I think. But so I picked it up and I really, really tried. And as you can see, I've still got the bookmark in it where I've got to. So I don't really know a lot about that. I remember like 10, 11 year old brain being a bit like, being like really, really enjoying that kind of animal and that kind of side companionship in this novel. Um, and it's something that I do definitely want to pick up again. It's definitely on my list, I think. I need to be in the right mood again and I'm really excited to read this um, when I'm not actually struggling just to read words let alone form like ideas and images in my head reading was something that was very very hard for me so I'm kind of really looking forward to picking this back up again at some point but we all know how TBRs are and the last one was Sweet Treat Pick a Book that had a sweet ending um, I'm not going to do this one because um, Spoilers, obviously, I'm pretty sure I've probably spoiled something. I hopefully, hopefully I haven't in tags, but there's a lot of spoilers in tags and I don't want to let anyone know the ending of a book. Whether I don't want to tell anyone the tone of an ending of a book that I'm thinking of reading and then be reading the whole entire book knowing it's going to end sweetly. So I'm going to ignore that one. Sorry, feel free to add it if you want to. Um, but I didn't watch the the last section of your video cam sweet trees i don't i don't, I don't want to know what book ends sweetly don't want to know so i stopped here that one so this was the rainy day book tag um thank you for tagging me i really really enjoyed it really enjoyed doing it um so the three people i want to tag is meg talks life green eggs and sam and books your imagination so I'd love to hear what books you guys like for any days and the answers to all of your questions. And always, as always, if you want to do this and you're looking for a reason to do it, I tag you. You're it. Your turn. Just do it. Have fun. Let me know. Let me know that you've done it. I really like to see the tags and see what everyone else does. So it's brilliant. But thank you for joining me, guys on today where it's trying to rain and then trying to be sunny so not quite a rainy day but not quite a sunny day either so thank you for joining me and i will see you all very very soon okay love you all bye from Wolfshot parts and i have been tagged by Wolfshot parts Seriously, how many times am I going to say I have been taxed?